Hello everyone. Uh, I'd like to show you a nice game played by uh, Edward Lasker. Note that uh, this isn't Emmanuel Lasker, the world champion, uh, but rather one of his distant uh, relatives. So here's the game. Uh, let me just... okay. d4, f5, the Dutch defense. Knight f3, e6, knight c3, knight f6. Know that uh, White played knight c3, uh, blocking his c pawn because he's trying to get rapid development by pushing e4 uh, pretty soon. Bishop to g5, bishop e7, bishop takes f6. Now, uh, White captured the knight on f6 because uh, the problem with the Dutch defense is, is that it uh, weakens the king side by the first move f5 somewhat. And now white decided to remove one more defender from the king side. Bishop takes f6. And now e4. Now here probably a better move would be to play knight, uh, d5. Pawn to d5. Uh, but uh, in the game f takes e4 was played. Which isn't quite good uh, as it uh, improves the position of uh, white's knight c3 knight. Uh, white c3 knight. Knight takes e4. And now b7, uh, b6. Uh, black wants to play bishop b7 and castle kingside and uh, use the f file and this nice di diagonal for his bishop. Bishop to d3, bishop to b7, and now knight e5. Quite a daring move. Uh, white is somewhat daring black to capture his knight, uh, but also he doesn't really mind because uh, black would give up his bishop heir as well. But black probably should have captured here, as those white knights in the center of the board are monsters. But black decided to castle. And here we have queen h5. And here is the decisive mistake in the game black played. Sir Thomas played queen e7. And here I'm sure uh, those of you who don't know the game uh, can feel there's something wrong with the position here. and. Uh, there's probably something for white here and in fact there is there is uh, the very nice queen takes h7 check and uh, here black doesn't really have any options the only uh, the f7 square is covered by the knight the only move he can play is accept the queen sacrifice king takes h7 and here comes the beautiful combination by lasker knight takes f uh, f6 double check uh, if king h8, then simply knight to g6 is checkmate. So king has to go to h6. And now knight e5 to g4. And uh, here this was uh, quite counterintuitive uh, because the other knight uh, could also have come to g4, but uh, this is better. Although it's leaving the f6 knight unprotected. King to g5, h4 check. King to f4, only move. G3. King to f3, only move. And now bishop e2, check. King to g2, only move. Rook to h2, check. And now king goes all the way to g1, only move. And here Alaska finishes it off with a nice king to d2, checkmate. Uh, Alaska could have also played a nice queenside castle checkmate. Uh, this is also a very nice, you know, checkmating your opponent with a castle is uh, always good. Uh, although Paul Morphy, uh, I think uh, a couple of a couple of months before this uh, game was played, uh, also finished one of his game with a queenside castle. So Lasker probably tried to avoid this and uh, thought uh, his game would be remembered. Uh, better if he finished it with king to d2. So yeah, this is a very nice mate. It's a very nice game. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, see you soon.